how to add a logo to the top of your vpix virtual tour here's my logo library from my account and what we're going to do over here is we're going to go to the top of your little charcoal menu where it says logos you're going to click on that and you're going to notice i got a bunch of logos over here on the right but here on the left pay attention to the logo size guide very important because that says 200 pixels wide by 100 pixels tall. That's the size of your logos. All right, so we're gonna go over here and before I actually upload this logo, let me show you a quick way of how to get all of this done. We're gonna basically steal the logo off say the website or off your hard drive. I've already got one loaded up here, but I wanna make sure it's gonna be 200 pixels wide and 100 pixels tall. You can make it a little bit bigger, but I like the smaller 200 by 100 pixel size. So we're gonna go ahead and take that logo, and we're gonna go ahead and double check that size. We're gonna paste it here into my window from my clipboard, and there's my logo, ta-da. Okay, now you can make your logo a little bit bigger or smaller to fit within the size of the Photoshop canvas. We're gonna go over here and select our transform and scale. You're gonna hold your shift key and adjust that a little bit here and we're going to go ahead and click and we can center that and that looks pretty darn good all right so we're going to go back over to photoshop save for web and devices now you can save your logo as a transparent ping file or jpeg which will have the white background so that choice is kind of up to you and i'm going to choose either high or very high or somewhere in the maximum range but you want to keep your logos relatively small but not too over compressed and posterized so we've saved our logo. We're now going to hit choose file. We've saved that to the Crested Butte folder, which by the way has my audio files and my panoramas. We're gonna choose the upload. And when you do that, you'll see, ta-da, there's the logo added to your vpix library. All you gotta do now is we're gonna go back to our home page. We're then going to find the actual tour project. In this case, there's the Crested Butte 360 Panorama Project. And we're going to go down here at the bottom, and we're going to basically check the checkbox. And you can go top right or bottom right of your pano. I want to add a logo link to the actual website. So if someone clicks on my logo on my VPix pano, that's going to be able to go back to my home page. So I'm going to drag through CrestedButteRentals.net. You don't need the forward slash. And we're going to hit the Create Update Tour. And let's make sure you choose the logo you want to go to. Create Update Tour again. And we can go back over here to the blue button and preview that. And as you can see, there's my virtual tour. And if you click on the logo up here in the top right, it will take you magically, ta-da, to, of course, your website's homepage. And that's how you add logos to your vPix virtual tour.